Greetings folks, this is the ERS GPS telemetry sensor from Radio Master. This is a new little sensor that's designed to plug straight into ER series receivers, not the flight control board, but straight into the receiver. So it's, it's designed for people who don't want to mess around with flight control boards, uh, just using PWM receivers. And it works with the ER6, the ER8, the ER8G, and the ER8GV, all of the receivers that have a UART in plug for plugging in sensors. The little GPS module also has a UART in for pass through mode, so for future sensors, you'll be able to plug into the GPS, then into the receiver. So that just plugs in like that. Now it has two modes, uh, and let's plug a battery in so we can show you them. So we get a green flashing light until it acquires enough satellites for a 3D lock, I guess. It has two modes. Mode one is for uh, logging GPS position and altitude. Uh, altitude needs a barometer, I believe. So the glider receivers would, would be able to do that. And if you push the button there, it turns to a blue LED, then it logs speed data. So you can record your current speed and get a call out of your maximum speed. So really designed for line of sight flying rather than FPV flying, I would say. So in your model setup, when you uh, discover new sensors, you will find that there are, as well as all the usual, sensors. Uh, you will also have uh, five new sensors, so that includes GPS, GPS speed, heading, altitude, and the number of satellites. And you can display all of that on your screen, and you can get audio callouts. Uh, but the coolest thing is that you can actually record these in your logs. If you set these items to be recorded in your SD log, then you can actually look at the graphs of these things. And we'll go and have a look at that now. I went out for a fly on my Bixlow around a local park and uh, we'll have a look at the GPS data. So I've downloaded the log file from my radio to the computer and opened up OpenTX. Even though my radio is running EdgeTX, we need OpenTX companion for this one. It still works perfectly well. Uh, so we open a log file. There it is there. We'll open that. It gives us all the logging data here. And the reason we're using OpenTX is that it gives us access to Google Earth down here. But I'll show you, first of all, altitude data. There we've got the altitude data there. And we can also look at GPS speed. It gives us speed there. So if you're trying to see uh, your fastest run, this is a good way to see it, as well as uh, reading out your fastest GPS speed on the radio while you're flying. Number of satellites and GPS. Well, GPS will show us nothing, but if we click on the little... Google Earth icon down here, and that will take us to my flying field and show the GPS track. And you can actually play back the uh, entire flight like that if you want to, which is pretty cool. I'm not getting 3D information in this one like you can with other GPS's but uh, that seems to be all we've got at the moment. May, it may need uh, one of the glider receivers to record the altitude data at the same time possibly, I'm not too sure. But anyway, that is pretty cool. So that's a cool new addition from Radio Master, the ERS GPS telemetry sensor and I know I'd expect we'll see more sensors being released uh, in the future that will be able to daisy chain off the GPS into your ER series PWM receiver not needing to worry about flight control boards uh, perfect for line of sight flying when you want to know your altitude and uh, maximum speeds and those sorts of fun things that'll do it for the moment thanks for watching see you in the next video